Hey guys, Garney here. Hey, I'm going to be talking about Google Assistant. Yeah, it's more than just a neat trick on Pixel. So let's talk about it. Hey guys, Garney here. Thanks again for joining me for another tech review or Tech Thursday. But I want to talk about the events that we learned on Tuesday from the Google of, from the Google announcements of the Pixel, the Google Home, and the, Go, the, the Go Network, and things like that. Let me start off by focusing on the Google Assistant. Yes, Google Assistant. You know, I've had the, I've read online, I've read other people's opinion, I watched the video again, and it's starting to really sink in here. Guys, think about it. The number one search company, Google, providing you a assistant on multiple platforms. Now, this goes way beyond Google Now, which a lot of people would compare Google Now to with, let's say, an iPhone's uh, Siri or Bing's Cortana uh, or anything else like that. But now that we've gone beyond Google Now, more it's, it's past what's on your phone. What we're talking about now is Google Assistant's proliferated across your environment. Yeah, so Google Assistant is supposed to be your assistant no matter where you are. And it's and obviously using it on a phone is a big plus because we all carry a phone or cell phone. Well, what about the home? Yeah, see. What's happening now is that Google Assistant is reaching out into the, you know, leveraging the Google infrastructure, Google search engines, the years of artificial intelligence and learning and machine learning that Google has done in the background and now providing it as a platform for interaction to the Google environment for your needs on your phone, on your home and thing, um, whatever else they can come up with. Just think about it being able to walk around and say, okay, Google, and then they go off and do something. This is what we're talking about, that it's not just a search request. It is actually an interactive system for your lifestyle, where uh, they actually had a demonstration where a guy was, or one of the one of the project, key project managers, uh, product managers at Google was interfacing with Uber. Yes, through the assistant, had a, actually having a conversation. So. Let's break it down a little bit more. What is Google Assistant? Google Assistant is a service, plain and simple, that provides you access to not just the Google environment, but to other applications, other services that it can interact with on your behalf. For example, if you would like to go search a restaurant, you can actually say, okay, Google, go search Black's Barbecue. And it would actually pull up results from Yelp for you if you decide to use Yelp. If you actually want to go to Black's Barbecue, uh, hey, what's the quickest way of getting there? It actually will say, hey, you have traffic here. If you want to take an Uber, it would allow you to take an Uber. It would actually interface with the Uber application to get you a car so you can go to Black's Barbecue. Hey, if you want to call your friends or invite your friends over, you could just have a conversation with Google Assistant and say, hey, please notify John, James, Suresh, and Amit to come meet me over at Black's Barbecue. We're all going to be there. Table for five? You know, things like that. And it will text those guys. Yeah, see, it's really interesting how this is more about providing you a service more than just a hey Google now type scenario or a Google assistant just on your phone it is a service that can go on your phone in your home and then when Google automated autonomic cars or driverless cars are available you could sit in them and actually log into your environment and have a conversation with your car yeah, that's what we're talking about, guys. I mean, it could be on your laptop. It could be on your phone. It could be on, at your home with that Google Home option. Guys, this is what we're talking about. It is That's why the CEO of Google started off by talking about Google Assistant, not Pixel, not Google Home. He started off with Assistant because the world of Google is going into that world of service. 
What better place to Google launching their new environment, new vision, new platform, than to say you could be on the Pixel platform, in a Google Home platform? Yeah, pretty amazing, guys, if you think about that. That's why I like what Google is doing. Yes, yesterday I did talk about how I am not buying a Pixel phone. Well, one day I might. I mean, but right now, as of this moment, I, they're out of the 128 gig Pixel XL line, by the way, uh, at the time of this recording. They're sold out, so the only ones that are available are the Pixel, the 5-inch version, 32 and 128 gig versions. Those are what's available. But it's not just on there. You can actually, if you're not a Pixel user, you could actually use the messaging app Allo, A-L-L-O, it's on the Google Play Store, available now, and you can actually use the Google Assistant via Allo. So even if you're on version 6.0 or Marshmallow of the Android platform, you can still use Google Assistant. You can get a kickstart with that. See, that's the beauty of Google Assistant. It doesn't matter where you are. You, It's providing you a service so you can interact with it. It's more convenient if you're on a Pixel because it's built into that. It's more convenient if you had a Google Home device, you can interact with it voice that way. But if you have a regular cell phone that is not a Pixel phone, you can still interact with via Allo, the app, to get a hold of your Google Assistant. Yeah, pretty amazing. Things like, hey, good morning, Google Assistant. How are you today? And it will read off to your agenda. What's going on? What's the weather? What's the traffic? It's an amazing demo. So what do you think about that, guys? Amazing. I I was blown away with that. I I thought, from my point of view, that, that this is where the world is going for Google. It's not just a search engine anymore. It's now a service company. They're providing you a service through a new interactive platform called Google Assistant. So guys, what do you think about that? This, uh, this actually opens up a whole new world for me. Yes, I know the Pixel is the first Fourier into that, but you know what? I already have an Amazon Echo, and I'm so tempted to just go ahead and buy the Google Home so I can actually try it out and start interacting with it. It's so cool because I have a Nest thermostat that controls my AC and heating for my house that I know that's going to be tied in with Google Home to say, OK, Google, reset the thermostat to 67 degrees. Or, okay, Google, reset the thermostat to a comfortable 72 degrees, 67 degrees. Wow, that's cold. <laughs> not unless you're, not unless it's freezing outside. <laughs> so, guys, what do you think about that? Please let me know what your thoughts are. And I want to say to all my fans out there, all my friends who watched the video from yesterday, thank you, thank you, thank you. What a tremendous response. Thanks for it. You know what? I'm really, really glad that we've had these discussions i love the android community thanks guys i really appreciate it. all your friends who are actually on the apple side thanks again also for being constructive and being being in an open mind to have these discussions because you know what it's not about the phone it's about google assistant that's what the announcement was all about on tuesday anyway guys have a great day if you like what you see hit that like button and most of all if you're new to my channel Go out there and hit that subscribe button because I'm always looking for new friends to join me on this journey. So come on, let's have some fun. Until then, guys, we'll talk to you later. Peace.